Hello and welcome to the next tutorial of the AML Bitcoin Wallet 2020. This is our wallet and uh, today we will show you how our asset reward system works. For this we will go to uh, transfer assets. We will actually choose one of the assets we created. That would be your asset 2020 which we actually created in the last video that you can watch now. We will put a quantity that can be five. We will now put the address where we want to send the asset to. And we will actually put in a label, which makes it easier for us to find it afterwards. That can be test two, can be, can be uh, basically the name of your asset or whatever you like. We go to send. We'll take a couple seconds. Assets have been transferred successfully. All right, that's great. Now we will go to our sensebox.amlexplorer.com, which is the uh, ABDC blog explorer, which we also want to show you because this is actually very interesting. I will just refresh this once. And as you can see, five of your asset 2020 uh, assets were actually sent. This is the value. We have a transaction fee of uh, 3.5 ABTC. This is uh, a fee that we can always alter depending on the market situation. You can also see when this was mined, who was mined by, and uh, what is your total mining reward? In this case, it is 3.5 AML Bitcoin. And this is basically the re mining reward you receive as the creator of this asset. What might be also interesting for you to know is that all transactions are monitored for suspicious activity 24 hours, and uh, they actually undergo a very thorough detection if they are on any sanctions lists. In case you're interested in that, you can read everything here. These are all the sanctions uh, by various governments. That's um, OFAIC, OFCL, BIS, OSFI, HML, EU and UN. That's uh, certain lists. You can get some more information here. Um, for example, the uh, BIS is a denied persons list by the US Department of Commerce. Then um, there are certain entity lists by the US Department of Commerce. There's also the uh, OFAC by the Office of Foreign Asset Control of the US Department of Treasury. As well as, for example, the HM Treasury sanction list uh, by UK. And obviously we have the European Union sanction list and we have the UN Security Council sanction list. You can read all of this by simply clicking on details about sanction lists. Excellent, that's it. Thanks for your time and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>